My name is Brooklyn Sudano, and I am playing Asha Flynn. The basic premise of the Taken TV series is more or less a prequel, a modern day prequel to the movies. So you see the Brian Mills character earlier on in his life, and you see more of the characters who are involved in his life and who kind of help him along the way, uh, learning his particular set of skills. And, um, you know, I think it's it's really interesting to kind of see that part of the process and you kind of understand why Brian is the way that he is. What will be familiar to the audience with, uh, you know, the comparison between the movies and the TV series is you can expect a lot of action. Uh, that, uh, the intensity of the action, the, the pace of the action is all there. I saw the first episode and I could barely breathe and I even knew what was going to happen. So that I can guarantee will be there. So all the action aficionados and buffs will, I think, really appreciate and love that. And uh, I think what is a little bit different um, um, it, between the two is that the TV series has a little bit more time to develop the characters, to see different characters in Brian's life, and to, you know, get a little bit more in depth about um, each one of them and how they relate to Brian. And you see Brian and his transitions a little bit more and, and what makes him tick a little bit more. And I think uh, that character analysis and that the depth of that will really draw people in and will be interesting to kind of see develop over the life of the series. My character is Asha Flynn, and I uh, am introduced to Brian in a really kind of interesting and heartbreaking set of circumstances. Uh, his sister Callie was one of my best friends, and um, in the pilot episode, we lose her. And Brian and I connect over this loss, and I'm very close with his family, and, and Callie was also very close with my family. And so um, in the midst of kind of dealing with this loss and with the grief, Brian and I really kind of connect and, and, and begin a relationship. Uh, on the, on that's that personal side, and on the other side, I am a career woman. I am an environmental lawyer who works in the D.C. area, so I feel that Asha is a really strong character. She's hardworking, and she is a truth and justice seeker. And I think that at times, because of that and that nature within her, it is in conflict with Brian and the mysteriousness and the secretiveness of what he has to do and what he can and cannot tell me. And so I think sometimes that creates a conflict within our relationship. The death of Callie Mills is, is really what sends Brian on his way into this new chapter of his life. I think, you know, before that he was in the military, he was used to high intensity situations just in general. However, now that it's personal, it really drives him in a way that is much more intense and also unfamiliar because I think it's so connected to him. I think he's willing to go to an extreme that I don't think he even was aware of prior to that. And so in our meeting, um, I, we meet at the funeral, and that's the first time that we've actually physically meet. We've always heard about each other through Callie, and, and, um, but the actual meeting is, wow, okay, here we are. We've both just had this incredible loss, and there's almost no words, but there's a, an immediate connection because of our both deep love and appreciation for who she was. And so, you know, you see them kind of try to work out this grief, and, I, and as a show, I was actually, part of the reason why I was drawn to this character um, was that in my own life in the last couple of years, I've lost some people that were really close to me. And so it was something that I immediately connected with and understood, and, and it, was, it, it drew me to this character. So I kind of really felt like I knew Asha from the very beginning. And, and so to be able to talk about this and explore this in a character was really kind of quite exciting for me. And, you know, so I just think that you have Brian and Asha really trying to do this dance and also it creates conflict because I am not his sister and, and trying to find the balance of appreciating this person and understanding the grief and loss of this person but also understanding that life does move forward and also that 
revenge and the need for revenge is actually maybe not always the way. And, and trying to, and me being a lawyer and being very much um, appreciative of the judicial system, the conflict of, of what this creates within our relationship is, I think, quite interesting to watch and, and to explore. I think Asha, ha early on um, in her relationship with Brian, is privy to certain information uh, that uh, Brian is is doing some things that maybe are not super 100% kosher, and that he is working within some kind of government uh, governmental role and, and group that I don't really know exactly what they do, but I know what they do. And I think that, um, you know, she has to come to a certain kind of understanding within herself that she's got to be okay with the mystery a little bit, but also she is also not willing to let him go over the edge. And I think she cares enough about him and enough about Callie to really try to rein him in in the best way that she knows how. And it's hard sometimes, and he doesn't like it, and I don't like it, but, um, you know, it really is kind of a chess game. And I think early on, because he needed to share with somebody, and he felt like he could trust me, in a, and whether he regrets it or not, I don't know. I think maybe sometimes he regret it, may, regretted making that choice early on, but he let me know pretty early on that there was something else going on, and, and I know this information now. And so it's also a secret that now I have to keep, and I have to bear the responsibility of knowing what this is. And uh, so it's tricky. It's, it's a tricky situation.